Welcome to your daily astrology horoscope. This is the Peace Dealer. Um, today is 24 degrees Cancer. Third decade. Six numerology of I balance. And uh, this third decade of Cancer is correlating to Neptune, okay, which is transcendence. And it's changing your perception around your power. The trine that it's making to Neptune in Pisces is also allowing you a much more divine perspective uh, that's beyond the limits of this time and space continuum so that you can believe in yourself and what you can do literally like never before. I would say the highlight of today is the 24 degree opposition uh, to Saturn and Pluto. Pluto that's 23 and Saturn that's 28, 27. Over the next three days, we're gonna be tightening that opposition. So we're, we're still in the boss battle, guys. That's what I'm saying. Um, let's just say Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn are three of the, of the bosses. I was gonna say mini bosses versus Capricorn season where we actually fight them for real. And it's not a fight, it's just an analogy, but it's a fight, okay? So um, this opposition is all a test of your character. And Jupiter and Pluto serve to challenge, but evolve and awaken you with this greater awareness. And since it's oppositions, uh, how you express this power towards other people, the test of character is, do you have integrity with the sincerity you are expressing, or are you just a fake ass mf -er? it's, it's literally black or white like that. Um, highlights of today, of course, are the balsamic phase. So take a vow of silence today, unless you're Gemini. It's basically impossible for us to not talk. But, um, you know, shut the F up. I'm saying that to me, not to you guys. But yeah, if, if you can like, really just go within your mind and try not to even think this 12th house aspect to cancer is definitely going to do well to release old thinking patterns and prepare you for this brand new cycle leading into leo um this is also a supernatural quality and so your entire mind is going to be changing around how and what you see yourself as, or rather feel yourself as. So that's a fancy way of saying today and tomorrow will encompass perhaps the most paranormal aspects of this transit. And with the light square the moon will be making to Neptune, think of this as like laughing gas uh, that literally needs to disassociate your perception of reality so that you can facilitate this legendary change of being. So that once you've changed your mind around who you are, based on everything that you've uncovered this last week, you step into the new moon to move forward with that. And then we party in Leo, like, you know, MFing bosses, because we're MFing bosses. And we're uh, slaying these bosses before we, you know, step into the second boss battle. This boss battle is your, this first bo boss battle is a character test to how well you can deal and handle forces in this world that seem to have more power than you. And that's why this is a character integrity test. If someone, can you be bought? Like if, if someone pays you a few million dollars to stop telling the truth, or, or to uh, aid in their deception, are you gonna do it? Or are you gonna fight the good fight? Um, are, are, let's, let's say Jupiter will, will peer pressure you with, with um, you know, um, sending a whole congregation after you with ideology. Pluto might tempt you with death and Saturn might tempt you with money and prestige. These are the first boss battles. This is why many people won't make it to the third boss battle because they're they're going to be pretty much bought. I'm just going to be honest. And this is where, you know, in this balsamic phase, um, the, it, it, a lot may just happen unpredictably. Now, because the moon's on Venus, this is like, um, 
a special aspect. If there's anyone that you love, tell them. But I don't really believe in love like that. You, you human beings made that shit up. I'm, I'm going to be honest. And it was basically pushed during this romanticized era. Um, Christianity took away the, the, the deeper occult meaning of sex and, and taboo, made it taboo and, and, uh, try to Christianize everything. And then that led to now romanticizing everything. So, you know, Venus has this weird connotation of love when it's purely sex, guys. It's feminine sex. Mars is masculine sex. So this is really going to make you receptive with Moon and uh, Venus to the truth of, you know, what's changing. I haven't been talking about Venus and Gemini, especially being direct, because now it's getting ready to actually come out of Gemini and, and move out the station, uh, especially with Mercury getting ready to go out of its shadow period. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, there, there may be a different way to perceive how you receive um, pleasure. And, and also because this is sextiling Mars, which before Mars retrogrades is the closest they'll meet, you really have the ability to act off of everything you wanna freely express and truly express. So very, 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 very cool. If you do have that opportunity to act off on it, go and tell that person. Uh, the freaky things you want to do. I mean, the, the cool things you want to do with them. And it's also very adamant that you're not afraid to turn up that masculine energy. Mars, and shout out to my Mars and Aries, we're not afraid to be honest about our sexual desire. And this is something that in men and women is uh, still being highly suppressed. And so you can resist that suppression by, you know, not being a scaredy cat. Other than that, um, yeah, today and tomorrow is just to prepare you for this new cycle and to, to complete this boss battle. So do prepare for an infinite epiphany. Remember, Moon's going to be squaring um, Neptune. So this is the stage of the superpower awakening where if we think of Bleach, you learn the release call of your Zanpakuto. This is the stage of your awakening where you, you are receptive to the name of your spirit. And the English language, just like many postmodern languages, uh, has diluted your ability to utilize words for magical effect. This word is going to be a word or name that's not English. Every single person has a, a, an ability that is unique unto themselves. This is why I hate all this rhetoric that says, we're all the same, we're all equal. We are not the same. Um, yes, in terms of certain rights, we all deserve to be equal, like everyone deserves equal rights, but we're not, and even that's debatable, but we are not the same. We need to cut that out. Everybody is unique. We're all different, but in that, but in our difference, we're, we you could say we're, we could unite, right? But but we're not all the same. A, a toad is not a, a bird. You know what I mean? So like everybody has a unique ability, and everybody has a unique spirit name. Think think my hero academia. Think bleach. Okay, and today is one of those days where if you really go within and allow this part of you to communicate with you you can very realistically you can very realistically unlock and understand okay what your spirit name is transcend release this and you know begin efforts to now step into your power much more powerfully and the Neptune trine represents a certain divine ascension that you really will feel and experience more than see. So y'all stay blessed as always. And until next time, stay groovy. Peace.